Happy Monday. <clears throat> I hope you guys are all doing great. Today we're going to be talking about um, when you're afraid of doing it wrong when you're acting. So you may have caught yourself, uh, you know, preparing for an audition, for a self-tape, or actually even being on stage or on set and feeling some contraction in your body that you're not making the right choice or you're going to forget your lines or you're just, there's just something wrong about your proposition, about the way you're acting, about you. You may feel like there's something wrong about how you look, how you sound, your accent. So there might be specific things, but it might just be more of a blurry sensation that you're coming in with and you might be sometimes very aware of it or you might sometimes not be really aware of it but that's some part of your energy is just like like contracted inside because you're coming in the work from a belief that it's going to be wrong or there's something wrong with you or the way you're going to do it is going to be wrong and you're spending the entire time actually trying to get away from that sensation but really at the bottom of it and what's really happening is your energy is contracted by that fear of being wrong. And so it's very uncomfortable. It's not fulfilling. Um, it doesn't feel great at all. And it's definitely not what you went into acting or in any art form for, right? You're coming for the freedom, for the flow, for the fun, for the joy of actually being truthfully who you are. And so that can be very frustrating and painful at times. Sometimes I hear um, actors talk about excruciating pain when they're acting because of that contraction of feeling wrong, being wrong, doing it wrong, uh, being perceived as wrong is really at the bottom of the energy and of the essence that you're putting in no matter how great your mask is no matter how great your preparation is no matter how great your choice is if there's something at the bottom of your being um, that is feeling that there's something wrong with you about you about your choice about the way you're acting it's going to be really a challenging experience to feel completely fulfilled, to be present in the moment, because the more you're feeling that there's something wrong about you or the way you act, the less present you're going to be, right? Because you're definitely going to cover it up consciously or unconsciously with some tricks, with a mask, with pretend, with fake. And therefore, oh, I'm seeing my daughter's decoration right there. She just redecorated the entire sofa behind. I'm just going to let you see. Everything has a reason in there. None of it is wrong. They're all doing a little activity. Anyway, so you may have tried a lot of things about that. Usually when actors feel somehow deep inside consciously or unconsciously that there's something wrong about them or the way that they act, they'll have a tendency and you might have caught yourself doing that, going from workshop to workshop, going from teacher to teacher, book to book, always trying to get the next thing out there or the better teacher out there or the better method or the newest method to actually fix you to make you right so that you're not wrong so that your acting is not wrong so that you're right right because we associate being wrong with some sort of danger we're all raised in a conditioning system in a programming that says we have to be right at school if you're wrong there's humiliation there's exclusion there's rejection there's no validation, there's withdrawal of love from your parents when you're doing something wrong. So feeling that sensation is definitely, um, you know, a, a downward spiraling loop. When it's there, you feel it, you don't like it, so it contracts. But then if you actually are not present, there's no way for you to to really enjoy the moment, to actually defend the character. And so it is not working. And so you contract more because you make that mean that there is something wrong about your acting. So it just keeps spiraling down and it's really not helpful. So what's what's really happening, of course, is that there's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with acting. There's actually the word wrong only exists from a conditioned place, right? There's nothing in the nature that's right or wrong. It just is. There's nothing that's good or bad. It just is. There's no scene that's right or wrong. 
the scene is just defended by a human being, the actor who has their perspective on it, and the more truthful there can they can be with their with with what's happening for them with with the material the more it's personal unique alive truthful present right so it has nothing to do with doing it right or doing it wrong because those things don't exist in definitely not in the world of art in the world of art if you take painting singing if you take any other discipline any other performance art too you can't judge an artist by them being wrong or right. It's, it's actually just, is it truthful? Is it really truthful or is it made up? I don't resonate with it because it feels made up, it feels fake. But if it's truthful, it can be so far from what people will say is appropriate. I've seen successful painters paint with their poop, right? Could you say that that is wrong? Well, in a conditioned world, you may think that, but actually in the world of art, where the only thing that matters is freedom and truth. If it's aligned, if it's truthful, if it comes from a real desire and full expression of the artist, there's no right or wrong about it. It just is, right? So, um, so I would invite you to, um, to contemplate your relationship with the word wrong and to realize how since how long is it present in you since how long is it contracting your instrument whether you're on a date or in an audition actually how much of how much grip does it have on your truth and on your freedom and to actually you know maybe free write do some automatic writing with that and get to the place of actually understanding when that started and I can tell you right now, if you do uh, that work, you'll realize it started very early when you were told it's wrong to be angry, it's wrong to cry, it's wrong to be too loud when you're happy. You were told that when you were a child. You were told at school that it was wrong to run, run away in the, in the classroom. Even though your body needs said, that's actually what I need right now, you were told that was wrong, you were punished, you were disciplined, is the word I heard from a little five-year-old girl um, when I was on a, a road trip this weekend and my daughter was playing with her in the in the pool and she said um, yeah my teacher when we are not behaving right behaving which is again a word that only exists in the conditioned world um, she takes us and she disciplines us and you know that just gave me shivers um, there's nothing wrong with you you were born innocent you are innocent um, there's, there's nothing wrong so make sure you look into that um, energy that was planted in you the energy of being wrong or therefore of acting wrong was planted in you when you were young at, on the first days that you were born and therefore, when you're carrying that energy of feeling that you're wrong when you're acting, the opportunity is to realize that there's nothing to fix. There's not enough, an, another method to take, but really to look at, oh, what's the root of this? When did this concept of wrong that doesn't even exist in reality, when was this planted in me? And to backtrack and go back there to do some work and move it through. So if this makes any sense, you can DM us the word stop acting and then we can send you some more information. We can send you a quick free training. We can send you some um, free trainings that you can have and you can start your journey with the feeling of being wrong and how um, you want to look into that and address it so that from the inside, not from fixing it from the outside so that you get to um, actually show up and feel the joy of acting, the joy of being you, the joy of being in the moment, no matter what that looks like. Because the day that you're really able to be with your truth rather than trying to escape from being wrong, what other people will think, whether they think you're wrong or right or good or bad, won't matter anymore. It's only when you're trying to please, when you're trying to do it well for them, when you're trying to book, that it then matters what they think. 
But if you're really being you and you're giving all your energy to your truth and freedom, there is no place for taking into consideration what other people think of you. So I hope this makes sense. Again, if you want more information, um, send us a DM with the word, words stop act and we can send you a quick training about that so you can get started. Thank you. Bye, guys.